Do cyber attacks kill patients? I get some variation of this question after nearly every keynote or conference talk that I give. So let's dive into this and separate hype from reality. The fact is, you don't have to go that far to find a TV episode or movie or hack demo that's targeting an insulin pump or a pacemaker. These attacks are technically feasible, don't get me wrong. But we really don't see this happening in reality. What we're describing with those attacks are effectively targeted assassination attempts. And that's not how attackers really are operating in healthcare. So to approach this, we really need to alter the question slightly. What we should really be asking is, do cyber attacks cause harm to patients? Really, what we're saying is, is there an effect on their long-term outcomes? So morbidity rather than mortality or death. The answer to that question is a 100% yes, unequivocally. That is the fact. So let's explore why that is. Well, if you say have a ransomware attack, an attack on the availability of systems or data within a health system, then you are causing huge problems because suddenly clinicians can't access key systems like e-prescribing modules, lab systems, diagnostic imaging, electronic health record systems. You are delaying clinical decision making at scale. That is by itself gonna cause problems to the care of patients. And it's going to have both direct and indirect effects throughout a health system. If you have to suspend clinical services altogether, then that really is a disaster. And we can probe that with a further example. Let's say you are suspected of having a stroke, stroke patient. Depending where you are in the world, there's typically a window of around three hours where they say you should get treatment to bust that clot that's in the brain. If your nearest hospital that can provide that service is not taking on any new patients because of a cyber attack, and the next nearest is 30 minutes further down the road, that delay could be the difference between a complete recovery and instead having long-term permanent damage to you as a patient. I hope what I've done here is illustrate why the reality of cyber attacks causing harm really manifests in far more complex ways at scale, both directly and indirectly. That's why in our clinical security analytics platform, CCOM squared, we distinguish between clinical risk scores that just purely focus on patient harm and organizational risk scores that focus on scale and magnitude. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please like and subscribe and find out more about the exciting work our physicians are doing at the Abed Graham Group by visiting www.abedgraham.com.